Welcome back, everybody. In the last episode, I built my base. And while I was trying to make my bookcases for my enchanting room, I realized that I needed a much better source of leather. I thought it would be really helpful to build a more efficient cow farm, which I did, and that's what you see right behind me. It makes farming the cows a whole lot easier. So don't you go anywhere, because I'm gonna show you how to build one too. So I've popped over into creative mode because I figured it would be a little bit easier to show you how to build this in creative with nothing else around. So let's start with a parts list. Okay. So the parts that you'll need are two chests, two hoppers, that, that'll be your collection system. You'll need 31 solid blocks, can be anything. I recommend some kind of stone because we'll be using lava in this build and uh, it would not be very good if your farm caught fire. Uh, you'll need two dispensers, 13 glass blocks, uh, 10 slabs, again, I recommend stone for the same reason, uh, two stairs, uh, again, stone for the same reason. Uh, you'll need uh, an observer, one redstone dust, uh, five buttons. Um, in this case, I'm using stone buttons. Can be any button, it doesn't matter. I'm using black stone buttons because I think they look better. Uh, you will need one wood button, and the wood is very important because the redstone pulse that's generated by a wood button lasts a little bit longer, and if you don't use a wood button, your farm might not work the way that you expect. Uh, you'll need uh, eight iron bars or glass panes. Either one will work, whatever you have handy. You'll need two buckets of water, two buckets of lava, and six stairs. Now, in addition to that, uh, for some decorative blocks, uh, I would recommend 27 oak logs. It can be anything that you have, whatever looks nice. In my case, I'm using oak logs because I think it'll fit in better with my world. Uh, 11 pieces of carpet. Uh, again, I'm using brown carpet because it resembles wood. Now, also, this is not necessary, but uh, it will make your life easier. Uh, I re recommend one extra ladder uh, because uh, if you happen to fall into your farm while you're building it, you'll need an easy way to get out without having to break your farm. Uh, and I would also recommend uh, a few solid blocks. It doesn't have to be 32. Uh, a few extra blocks because you're going to want to build a staircase to actually get your cows up and into your farm. So uh, that should be uh, everything that you need. Uh, if I've missed anything, I'll make sure that I put it in the description below. Okay, so to start out, you will want a 4x4 four four area. That's, that's all you need uh, horizontally. I believe it's seven blocks tall. Uh, that would make sense. Uh, but uh, four by four is all you need on the ground. And what you start out with is you take out uh, the first, uh, the four blocks in whatever side you decide is gonna be the front. Now, we're gonna take our two, uh, two chests and place those in here. And then we're gonna take our two hoppers and we will just place those behind here. That will be the beginnings of our collection system. And uh, we don't need anything else. Let's drop, get rid of those. All right, so let's take our, our wooden logs and put these on the corner because uh, that will kind of accent the corners of our build. Um, in front of uh, in front of these two hoppers, right on top of the chest, we want to place the stairs upside down in front. Uh, using the upside down stairs, of course, will allow this chest to open. If you had solid blocks above this, the chest wouldn't open, but this will be just fine. Now, here on 
the sides, we want to place our solid blocks. Now, for the to make things a little bit easier, I'm just using all stone brick on this for my solid block. Uh, if you want to get decorative with it, you can variegate this. So maybe some of these blocks are stone and some of them are cobblestone. Maybe some of them are cracked stone brick. Uh, a little bit of everything, but uh, to make to make this simple and make it easier for you to, to see what's going on, uh, I'm just going to use all the same thing. So this is our first layer and it should look like this. Now, the one other thing that we want to add here are take two of our blackstone buttons and put them right here. The, these buttons are never actually going to get pressed. Uh, they're here specifically to hold the lava up. Uh, your baby cows are going to sit right in here. Um, you know what? This is not quite right. Let's take this off of here. What we want is to take two more blocks and put them in front. And now, <laughs> now we put our buttons right here because our baby cows are going to sit here over top of the hoppers. That's important. <laughs> um, the reason that we have uh, four by four is because the area at the top of the farm is going to be a little bit larger so that, uh, while our baby cows are collected in a two by two area, our, our adult cows are gonna sit in a four by four area because that makes it a little bit easier for them to feed and uh, it, it makes your life easier. So anyway, uh, here is our, our completed first layer. Now, what we wanna do uh, to start off the second layer is take our observer, and let, let, let me drop my buttons here. Uh, take our observer and place it right on the front of this block. And then we're going to take our wooden button and place that right here. This is the button that needs to be wood. So we place that right in front of there. Behind us, we are going to place another solid block. And then we're going to take our one piece of uh, redstone dust and place that right here. Now, to make life a little bit easier here, we're just gonna go ahead and put our four corners on here uh, and we will fill in uh, the rest of the sides with, uh, with our solid blocks. And now, right on top of these blocks with the, uh, with uh, the wood or with the buttons, we're going to place our two dispensers. Dispenser one, dispenser two, and into those, we're going to place our lava. Uh, okay, so I put one bucket of lava in there, put one bucket of lava in there. But don't do anything with it just yet. Uh, now we're going to take two of our slabs and place those right here. So now we have the second layer of the farm and you'll see you've got the stairs with a little gap in the middle and our slabs right here. So now we're going to test our farm because if everything is working right, it should put out a pulse of lava, which then goes right back in. Okay, that's what we're going to be using uh, most of the time to uh, to kill our, our cows as they grow up. And then all of the drops will collect down here. So now that we've got our second layer on here, it's time to place the third layer. So what we'll want to do here is right above these two blocks, we're going to place uh, two glass blocks, and we're going to place a glass block there and a glass block here. Um, and then we're going to do up one more, up one more on each of these sides. And now uh, just to make, uh, to kind of continue this up, we're going to build these up too. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. And here. Um, and 
let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, all right, right, that's all we need. So um, what we're gonna do here now, next is we will add two solid blocks here, 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 here. And we'll put solid blocks on top of each of those two dispensers. And we're gonna take our remaining, well, two of our remaining black stone buttons and put them right on the front of those blocks. Now, the purpose of those buttons, they are also not ever going to be pressed. They are there to hold up the water. Uh, we're gonna actually use some water to deliver our baby cows from the adult chamber down into the baby chamber. So once you've got this much of your farm done, just take one bucket of water and place it into this corner. So this water will flow out from here and create but it'll fill in this, this entire square. And it, when baby cows fall into this, it will push them over to, uh, to the front and to the side, and they will fall down into the kill chamber. So now that we have this layer, it's time to use some more of our slabs. We're gonna take our stone slabs and put them on the, uh, it, just make a ring around this layer. Now let's add another uh, another layer of log just to complete this layer. And now that we've got our slabs in place, we can take some of our iron bars and place them right here. The, these iron bars or glass panes, if that's what you're using, these are actually gonna hold up your adult cows. It'll just make a little platform for them to stand on. And what's great, uh, at least on the Bedrock Edition, I don't believe that this will work on the Java Edition. I haven't tried. Uh, but this platform made of, out of iron bars will hold up the adult cows, but the baby cows will just fall right through. So uh, that makes a great way to separate your adults from your babies. And then of course the babies will grow up and then you can use them for uh, for meat and for leather. So now that we have this layer, uh, let's add uh, four more uh, four more blocks to our, our corner columns. And now we can uh, we can add uh, I guess a little bit more glass. So let me just jump over here on top of my platform here and we'll place uh, one block here this one not yet um, the glass here and then we will use two solid blocks uh, in the back here and what we want right here will be our dispenser our remaining dispenser so we had two for lava and you know what i had my count wrong so there's two dispensers down the bottom we need three dispensers in total okay so this dispenser of course is going to be for water because we're going to use the water to help float our cows up when we try to feed them all right so we're almost finished with the farm we have one more layer to do so let's add one more row of wood for our uh, wooden columns. Uh, and then we're just gonna do a solid block all around, jump up here. And we're, we're almost finished. So what we wanna do here is we will add uh, our very last it doesn't look like the last one because I'm in creative mode and nothing's disappearing, but uh, we'll add our last stone button right here. And then we'll take the carpet that we have and we'll place the carpet around the outside edge of, uh, of this. Now you could also, you could also use some slabs and build a little roof out here, but it's not necessary. I'm just using 
the carpet to make sure that nothing spawns because this carpet although it's uh it it doesn't look like it it's actually taking up the entire block and because it because it takes up the entire block but you know the the actual hitbox doesn't take up the entire block uh, this is one of those things will actually that will prevent spawn. So no skeletons will spawn up here. No zombies will spawn up here. You won't have other stuff accidentally getting into your farm and clogging things up. So now uh, the thing to do, your farm is basically complete. Uh, but you need to get some cows in here. Now this is kind of, well, before we do that, the first thing I recommend is you take that extra ladder and you put that ladder in the back here because this way if for some reason uh while you're trying to get your cows in here you uh the cow kind of pushes you and you fall in now you have a way to get out very easily even if you don't place the ladder if you have one in your inventory you can use it to get out but it's a little bit easier to place it first because once the cows are in here uh, it can be hard to click past them and get a ladder in there where you need it you can always take this this ladder out once you have the cows in place so these extra blocks that I was talking about, uh, this, is, uh, this is how you'll actually get the cows into your farm. So I'm just going to jump down here and we're going to build a little staircase up and into the farm. Okay, so in a regular world, uh, in a survival world uh, where you can't just uh, use a spawn egg and put the cows in the farm, uh, what, you'll, what you'll have is you'll have to lead the cows up and into the farm. So uh, let me actually go ahead and uh, get a cow egg here, and we'll, we'll put a cow here. Okay, so if we want to get the cow up into the farm, we'll take a little bit of wheat and just coax him up into that. If I hold this piece of wheat, he will follow me. So let me just kind of come up here. Make sure he's following. Let me keep going. I'll come over here on the side. And uh, you can kind of get him to follow you around a little bit. You might get lucky and have him just fall in, but uh, many times that won't be the case. So what you got to do is keep holding on to this wheat while you've got this. Uh, keep it in your hand so the cow stays interested. And just sort of nudge him until he falls in there. And then uh, you want to do this about, um, I would say, uh, somewhere between uh, 7 and 11 more times. You want a total of about 8 to 12 cows uh, in your farm. Uh, at least in the top part of your farm. Uh, it, it's going to depend. You can actually put as many in as you want. Um, you just be careful because, uh, first of all, if you're on a server, a lot of times servers have limits because uh, too many entities in one place can cause lag on the server. So if you're playing with other people, uh, your server may actually have some limits. Uh, even in a single player world, uh, you could have some uh, you could have some difficulties because the more entities you get in one place, the more it can cause lag. So if you're doing this on a realm, uh, whatever, you get a bunch of things in one place, it can slow things down a little bit. Uh, but the more cows that you have in here, uh, the more you'll be able to breed them and uh, the more babies that you'll get and the faster you'll be able to accumulate your stuff. Now, let me take this spawn egg and I'm just gonna put in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that gives me a total of twelve. That's a good, that's a good number for this. And now that I've got that, uh, what I want to do is take uh, the additional bars that I had, the additional iron bars, and place them just like just get right on the front of this. Click in front, two three, four. So now what will happen is uh, these iron bars on top will allow me to feed the cows down here without falling in. And now uh, because I can't fall in, I'll just go ahead and break that break that ladder. Uh, that should actually flow down and go into our, our collection area underneath. Now the way that you 
feed the cows in your farm is you press this button that will cause the cows to float up and you can just kind of move around the outside here you can crouch down if you want and feed all the cows that you can get to all right so i think i think i got all of them and when you're finished click the button so that will pull the water back into the dispenser the cows will go down uh, any remaining babies that happen to be in there will should flow down into the bottom let's take out our stairs as we're coming down here okay and we can see we've got some babies down in here now uh, what I didn't show you is the additional ladders so we had six ladders I told you that was part of the uh, part of the requirements for this so you want to place those ladders on here and you can use that to get yourself up to the top of the farm anytime you like um, and let's see uh, let's see if we can get a few more of these cows fed I'm not sure they they won't normally take any more for uh, for five minutes but I don't think I quite got them all because it didn't look like there were six babies on the bottom all right so now uh, is this oh there here's the front all right so come down here all right now I've got six babies in here now the thing to remember is that you can feed those adult cows about once every five minutes uh, it'll take about 20 minutes for the baby cows to grow up so um, uh, you can go up there and feed them multiple times so you have a bunch of little babies down here and of course when they grow up uh, you'll be able to just press this button and the lava will uh, the lava will kill the adults but you see how the babies are down here in the bottom they didn't they didn't get affected that's because the buttons that are down there holding that lava up it won't affect the baby cows it'll only affect the ones that are grown up and then of course anything that uh, any of the drops will come down here it looks like we missed those ladders so the ladder didn't quite make it down in here oh well um, <clears throat> so uh, that's really it we've got We've got our working farm, and uh, I could wait for about 20 minutes for these guys to grow up and see what we collect. But since I've already built this over in uh, my actual survival world, let's go over there and check it out. Okay, so I'm back over in my uh, normal survival world. Uh, you can see that we have a few cows down here in the bottom that are grown up. So just so you can see how this works, I'm going to press the button. And uh, basically, we're turning cows into steak and leather. So you'll see that goes pretty quickly. We look down here in the bottom, and you see that this is filling up. So we, we've got... This, this wasn't uh, one time. I've actually fed the cows in here about three or four times so uh, we've got 60 well 64 plus seven pieces of beef we've got 42 pieces of leather and uh, that uh, that makes this process a whole lot easier because I don't have to run around on the outside of a pen trying to pick out uh, which ones are adults and which ones are babies and maybe accidentally get some that I didn't mean to uh, so this this does go pretty quick uh, the other thing that I should mention is this little gap in here. Uh, if instead of using the lava, you want to use, if you have a, if you have a, a sword that has uh, the looting, uh, the looting, especially the looting three enchantment on it, uh, you can actually choose to kill the adults with your sword. And the fact that you've got looting three on there will give you more beef and more leather. So that's another way to do this. Uh, with this particular design, you have the option of using either one. So that's the cow farm, guys. Uh, I do want to mention that this is not my own design. Uh, this is a design by Silent Whisper. Uh, I'll make sure to include his link in the description below. Uh, it is very similar to other bedrock cow farms that you can find on YouTube. Uh, the main difference, of course, is the larger area at the top for adult cows, which makes it easier to feed them. 
Uh, also, with some of those other designs, uh, baby cows often don't drop down like they're supposed to, and you can end up with more adult cows in the top than you intended, which sometimes can be a problem. Now, I haven't seen that happen at all with this design, so uh, I, I really like this one. Uh, I should also mention that I don't believe this design will work on Java. Uh, if I recall correctly from some older designs, the baby cows won't drop through on Java, so uh, if you are a Java player, just be aware of that. You may need to make some modifications. Uh, anyway, uh, I now have a working cow farm, so if you like what you saw today, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I do still need to do some more automatic farms in general, so next up will probably be the sheep farm or the chicken farm. Not sure which yet. Uh, but with that, I think we'll call it an episode. So until next time, happy Minecrafting!